I've been using a lot of Siri shortcuts in my smart home and it allows you to do some incredible things that you cannot do in the native Apple Home app. And if you're new to Siri shortcuts, then it can be overwhelming trying to figure out how everything works and how it can be useful for you in your smart home. So today I'm gonna to show you 10 Siri shortcut ideas that are gonna be great for beginners. I'll show you how to set each one of these shortcuts up and I'll show you some tips and tricks throughout the video that you're gonna to wanna to know. Links and chapters will be available in the description down below if you want to download any of these shortcuts. Starting off with idea number one is that you can run your HomeKit scenes right from your home screen. This is an easy way to run your HomeKit scenes like controlling your life Lights, all without having to open up the Apple Home app. When you're in the Shortcuts app, you have what's called your actions, which is what you want the shortcut to do. There's different actions for each app and it can get complicated, but to keep things basic, we will just be using only a couple of actions. To control your HomeKit devices, type in Home and you'll see two actions available. First is the Get the State of Your Home, which is used to create more in-depth automations, and Control Your Home, which is a basic action to control your HomeKit devices or run your scene. And this is the one that we will be using using for this shortcut. Choose the scene that you want to run, tap done, give the shortcut a name, and you're all set. To add a widget on a home screen, press and hold anywhere on the home screen, then tap the plus button on the top right hand corner, scroll down to shortcuts, and choose shortcuts. Pick how many shortcuts that you want to display, press and hold on the shortcut, and then choose which folder of shortcuts to display, and you're all set. One shortcut that I use often is airplane music straight to my HomePods, which is way easier than having to go into Control Center and choosing the HomePod from there. When you're in the Shortcuts app, tap on Add Action, and then type in AirPlay. Choose Handoff Playback. For the source, choose your phone, and the destination, choose your HomePod. Give this shortcut a name, and choose an icon or a color if you like. Now, if you want to have your music to automatically start playing without you having to airplay it, here is how you set up that shortcut. Tap on add action, choose control home, then tap on scenes and accessories. Choose your home pod, tap next, choose audio, choose what you would like to play, set the repeat, the shuffle, and the volume level to what you would like it to be. And now you have one button to start playing music on all of your HomePods. This next shortcut is gonna be great if you have a lot of HomeKit cameras. With the Apple Home app, you can only view the live feed of one camera at a time. But there's a way to view the live feed of all of your cameras at one time with a free third-party app and a very basic Siri shortcut. You'll need an app called Eve, which is free, in order to set this up. The Eve app also allows you to create some advanced automation that you cannot do in the Apple Home app. So it's definitely worth checking out. Whenever you're in the Eve app, tap on the at a glance and then you'll see a section for my cameras. You can see the live feed of all of your cameras at once. And in the top right hand corner, you'll see a Siri icon. And whenever you tap on that, it will ask you to set up a phrase that you would like to use. Either the one that's already set up or you can create your own. And now whenever you say this phrase, Siri will open up the Eve app and show you the live feed of all of your cameras. Unfortunately, you cannot customize what camera cameras that you can and cannot see in this view. If you want to do that, then you'll need a different app called HomeCam. And this app will give you a ton of features for only $5. You can pick and choose which cameras to display and rearrange which order that they appear in. You can create individual shortcuts for only viewing one camera at a time. And you also have access to your other HomeKit accessories that are in the same room, like temperature or humidity and the ability to control lights. Now, what's really cool is that this app works on the Apple Watch, so you can quickly view the live feed of a camera and cycle through different cameras. HomeCam also supports widgets, so you can get a quick glance at your cameras when you're on the go. And this app works on the Mac, the iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and Apple TV. And keep in mind that this app is not designed for 24-7 live streaming, especially if you have battery-powered cameras, as this will drastically reduce the battery life of your cameras. One shortcut that I used to use every day is from my 10 series shortcuts that I use daily video. And what happens is in the morning when I turn off my alarm, my kitchen lights will automatically turn on at a dim brightness and a warm color. This way, my lights will automatically be turned on whenever I get out of the bed. A lot of you guys were commenting on asking how to set this shortcut up, and it's really easy. Normally, I would leave the link in the description to download the Siri shortcut, but this shortcut in particular is baked into the operating system, so I'm not able to share it. Once you have the Shortcuts app open, then tap the Automation tab at the bottom, then tap the plus button, and here you'll see two options. One for a personal automation, which will run on a personal device like an iPhone or an iPad, and then you'll see a home automation which runs on your HomeKit hub like an Apple TV or HomePod mini. Tap on alarm and then choose whenever it's stopped or snoozed and then choose your alarm. Tap add action and type in home, then control your home, and then choose a scene or the lights that you would like to turn on. 
then tap next, done, next again, and this part is very important. Make sure you disable the ask before running. Otherwise, it will ask you if you want to turn your lights on after you turn off your alarm, and it will not happen automatically. This next shortcut is gonna be useful if you have devices that do not work with HomeKit. I try to buy smart devices that are compatible with HomeKit as much as I can, but sometimes devices are not compatible with HomeKit, but do work with Siri shortcuts. I have a light in my bathroom that supports Siri shortcuts, so I can tell Siri to turn on or off my bathroom light. Now the steps to set this up with a Siri shortcut will vary based on the product and the brand, but it typically involves you creating a scene of the status of the device, say like the current brightness or color, and then adding that scene to a Siri shortcut. Then you can use Siri either on your phone or with a HomePod to control a non-HomeKit compatible device. If you want to control these devices with your HomePod, then your phone has to be turned on and connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your HomePod. And these Siri shortcuts will only work if the shortcut is stored locally on the phone of whoever is talking to Siri. But if say like my wife tells Siri the, the, the same thing, then Siri will look at my wife's phone for that shortcut and if it's not there, it will not run. So in order for my wife to be able to tell Siri to turn on our bathroom light, I have to put all these shortcuts that I use on her phone and in time I make a change to an existing shortcut like changing the brightness or the color and then I have to resend it to her. If you have an Apple TV then you can really take advantage of using shortcut widgets on your home screen to quickly wake your Apple TV and have it automatically open up an app say like a streaming app to start watching a show or a movie. Unfortunately there's not a way to have it automatically start playing a show or a movie only open an app. When you're creating this shortcut type in Apple TV in the search bar and you see a bunch of actions that you're able to do with an Apple TV. For this shortcut specifically, choose Wake Apple TV, then choose your Apple TV, then add the open app action and choose the app that you would like to open. And then you can use multiple widgets to quickly switch between different apps without having to use the Apple TV remote. Now before I show you some creative ways to run your Siri shortcuts, here's how you can boost your creativity with the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring courses for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. And speaking of new skills, I've been getting into photography and learning how I I can take some incredible photos and edit them just using my iPhone. And what better person to learn from than professional photo and videographer Dale McManus in his course, iPhone Photography, how to take pro photos on your iPhone. And in his course, he talks all about the basics of professional iPhone photography for beginners like me and how to edit them in Lightroom to enhance them and make them shine. I've used what I learned to take my photos from looking all right to fairly good. The courses on Skillshare have no ads and a lot of them are short and can be downloaded straight to your phone or tablet for viewing offline and you can get started today learning a new skill by using my special link down in the description below the first 1,000 people to use my link down in the description will get a free one month trial of Skillshare and thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting the channel now let's look at our last shortcut which is a shutdown PM shortcut and creative ways on how to run it this shortcut can run a goodnight scene that's created in the home app to turn all of your devices off and you can add other shortcuts to this shortcut to control your non HomeKit compatible devices. Then type in shortcuts, choose run shortcut, and then choose the shortcut that you would like to run. And you can run this shortcut by using a widget, talking to Siri, or by using an NFC tag. An NFC tag is a tiny sticker that will run a shortcut whenever you tap on it with your phone, and it only costs a couple of bucks. And because it's so small, you can really put it into some unique spots. To set up a NFC tag to work with your phone, open up the shortcuts app, tap the automation tab at the bottom, choose the plus symbol, and then choose create personal automation. Scroll down to NFC, scan your NFC tag, and then choose the shortcut that you would like to add. And now whenever you scan the tag with your phone, the shortcut will run. Another creative way to run a Siri shortcut is by double tapping the back of your iPhone. And to set this up, open up the settings app, scroll down to accessibility, go to touch, and then scroll down to the very bottom to back tap, and then choose a double or triple tap. Scroll all the way down to shortcuts and then choose the shortcut that you want to run whenever you double tap your phone. And now whenever you double tap on the back of your iPhone, your shortcut will run all without you having to do anything else. Let me know how you are using Siri shortcuts in your smartphone down in the comments below and thank you for watching.